G'day everyone, today I want to talk about plastic. Plastic's a great material. It's fairly cheap to make, it's very flexible, you can make a huge range of things out of it, and it's really durable, it lasts almost forever. But that also causes some downsides. We're getting the environment clogged up with all different types of plastic. It's starting to fill the oceans, fill the rivers, and we're starting to see it turn up in our food supply. That got me questioning, is there a way to make a plastic that's more biodegradable? And I found out you can make plastic from milk. If you want to join along today, here's what you'll need. One cup of hot milk. Doesn't need to be boiling, but about what you'd have a hot chocolate at. Four teaspoons of vinegar, any type of vinegar will do. Some paper towel and a spoon. Optionally, you can also add some food coloring, which will give you um, plastic some color. And if you've got a mold to make a shape, that's great. You could use a mold like this, a biscuit cutter. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can just squeeze your plastic into any shape that you like. The first step is to grab our hot milk and our vinegar and simply tip the vinegar into the hot milk. Then we want to start stirring really rapidly. And you'll see almost straight away, it starts separating into some liquid and some solid. The liquid's called whey and the solid's called curd. And the curd is what we're after here. That's what's going to become our plastic. So give it a good stir around until it's formed all the clumps. And then we want to start removing it and putting it onto our paper towel. To do this, simply lift up as much of the solid as you can with the spoon to the side, squeeze out as much liquid as you can and press it down onto some paper towel. Keep repeating the process till you've got as much of the solids as you can. We want to use the paper towel to squeeze out as much liquid as we can and then start bringing our plastic together. The next step is to start kneading our plastic. And to do that, we're going to squeeze it together and you'll see more liquid come out. So just every now and then dry it off again. Want to squeeze it together, fold it like you're making bread dough. If you don't do this process, you'll end up with a really grainy plastic and it'll fall apart. You can see how it's sort of crumbling now. The longer you do this for, the better your end result. I recommend at least five minutes of kneading. So after about five minutes, you'll see that the dough starts to become a lot smoother and a bit less grainy. I could probably take this a bit further and keep kneading for a while, but I'm going to move on to the next step. Now you can colour this. This is where the optional food colouring comes in. I'm just going to add a single drop of food colouring on the top and massage that through and that'll give my plastic a nice colour. If you don't have food colouring you could use glitter, um, sequins, basically anything that you could fold through. I'm starting to get a bit of a yellow colour to my plastic. Might need to add one more drop. And the final step of the process is to decide what you want to do with your plastic. I'm going to squeeze mine into these little Lego men molds. If you've got molds, that's great. Uh, you could use biscuit cutters, or if you don't have molds, you could just squeeze it into any shape that you like. The final step in our process is to let the plastic dry. This takes about 48 hours. Put it somewhere inside that's in the sun um, that stays nice and warm and fairly dry. And after 48 hours, you'll be able to pop it out of the mold and you'll have a solid plastic piece that looks just like this. With the magic of editing, it's now a few days later and my little plastic men have started to firm up quite nicely. With a few more days, these will become more and more solid, but I've got a fairly good result. These are some ones that I started uh, even earlier, and you can see that they're so solid that I can not even break it with my hands. So they've worked out really well. So what have we done here? We've created what's called casein. It was one of the first types of plastic to ever be discovered. It was patented around 1900, so it's been around for more than 100 years. It was used in buttons, buckles, pen casings, all sorts of things. So you might be wondering why we don't still use it. 
Well, it is still used in some things, but much more rarely than regular plastic. And the reason for that is there's a step in the process that we haven't used here that adds a lot of time and a little bit of dangerous chemical to it. If you want to know more about that, it makes a great little mini research project. Now back to the science side, from the start we separated the solids from the liquid in the milk. And we did that using vinegar as an acid. If you want to do a bit more experimentation, try the project again, but this time use different acids. Try lemon juice or orange juice, see what works. Try doing it with the milk cold and see what reaction you get. There's plenty of experimentation you can do here. Just remember, only change one variable at a time. I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.